finished, Willie? No, sir. Nothing like summer, Willie. As the composer said, the living is easy. Very easy. Yes, sir. What are you doing, Willie? Trying to raise the hammock, Mr. Evans. Well, haul away, Willie. Haul away. Mr. Evans. Mm hmm? Being the principal of a high school show takes the starch out of a man, don't it? In words of one syllable, yes. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. Wait, so stop. What are you doing? Oh, Jack, I'm fucking dying. You're so silly. Oh, Drexel, you're so strong. Oh, Drexel, you're so strong. Well, not half as strong as I'll be when your dad finishes cooking up that batch of steaks for us. It's awfully nice of you to help Daddy fix the fire. Well, as soon as we get the fire built, we eat. Well, if you don't get your head out of my lap, I'll sew you right into my blouse. Well, how can I learn if I don't watch? Miss Joyce! Miss Joyce! What is it, Willie? It's Jackson. Is he here? No, Miss Jessie, he ain't. Then what's all the excitement about? He's next door with Miss Nancy, fine up a daddy's barbecue. Again? Yes. Well, you go right over there, Willie, and keep an eye on him for me. What if they catch me peeking? If you're gonna be a coward, I'll do the peeking. You just listen. Just hurry, that's all. I've got to know everything they do. Yeah, but I... Come on, Willie. Hurry. I know, but peeking's out of my line. Oh, Jassy. Yes, Mommy? Tell your father it's time to shower for dinner. All right, Mommy. Come on, Willie. Dad? Hmm? Hmm? Mommy says it's time for your shower. Oh, good, good. The aroma from Mr. Johnson's barbecue has given me an appetite. <laughs> what you doing? Just testing. Gee, you're a good cook, Mr. Johnson. Next eating, cooking is my greatest pleasure. Nancy, your dad is absolutely super. Runs in the family. Oh, are you a good cook, too? No, I'm just super. I like to cook. <laughs> and boy, is she good. <laughs> Don't go away, Willie. I'll be right back. Yes. It's a regular party with Anne and Jean and Drexel and Nancy. Is he... Does he seem to be having a good time? Drexel? I'll say. He just told Nancy she was super. Why don't you go on over? Me and be humiliated? A woman has to keep her pride. So what fun is it in being a woman? None, I guess. You go right over there and see what they're doing now. What for? It only makes you feel bad. I know, but I'd feel worse if I didn't know. Go on. I don't get it. Maybe I will when I'm older. Me too. Listen, Willie, you got to stay out here and spy for Joyce. Her heart's about to bust, and she won't be happy unless it busts all the way. But, Miss Jackie, I'm hungry. I'll bring you an extra big plate of food. Now go on over there and spy. You mean like a private eye? Harry, you're cooking one too many steaks. Oh, no, I'm not there. Willie. How will you have your steak? Just so long as it's hot, Mr. Johnson. Oh, uh, oh well, I, uh, you know, I was trying to get the... Well, you see, uh, the shed, uh, I was just... Uh, Admiring my steak. I know, I don't blame you. 
I shouldn't ought to be taking this, uh, Mr. Johnson, but, uh... Nonsense. A man can't work all day like you do and not get hungry. Well, you see, this is not my usual line of work, but, uh, I was getting kind of faint. Thank you, sir. What's all the fuss about? Well, you know perfectly well the Johnsons are coming over for bridge tonight. Oh. Now, don't tell me you're too tired. The mere thought of having to lift 13 cars at one time wears me out. Oh, well, I'll get it. Hello, Joyce. Hello, Joyce. Uh, hello, June. Hello. Oh, hello, Adele. Hey. Well, all ready for your bridge lesson? I don't know. I'm awfully tired. Poor Stu. He does his hibernating in the summer. <laughs> Joyce, why didn't you go over to our house? I'm sure Nancy wants you. Miss Joyce, uh, Mr. Johnson and Miss Johnson have left the party in Drexel and Nancy. Oh. oh. Hello. You better go over there and listen to me. I'm telling you, something won't happen to you. I'm sure Joyce will accept our invitations when she finds a nice young man of her own. Joyce has had a very social winter and spring. She's entitled to a rest. Me too. This house is headquarters for the school varsity from early fall to summer vacation. Like all parents, you're being willfully blind. One stage. Pass. What does she mean by that crack? Do you know, Trump? Simply means that Nancy has taken sole possession of Drexel and Joyce is carrying the torch. Oh. Double two no, Trump. I think it's Harry and Adele who are being willfully blind. Mm. Three clubs. Blind? <laughs> has Joyce been out with Drexel since Nancy and he have been dating? Pass. Dating? Drexel hasn't had an open night for anyone else since Harry started barbecuing for his benefit. Three diamonds. Well, at least I have the energy to try and do something for my daughter. I'm not a beachcomber around the house like someone I could mention. Double three diamonds. <laughs> Stu's earned a rest. Three hearts. Now tell me, what has Stu done to earn three months off? Pass. What do you mean, three months? I'm lucky to get a few days here and there. And I make the most of them, I'll have you know. Four no trumps. Well, I'm a fellow that likes to do things around the house, you know, build things, entertain the kids, and barbecue for them. Double. Stu has his moments. Five spades. Yes, but Stu spends most of his moments in his hammock. Pass. Well, you see, Joyce doesn't really have to depend on me. She has plenty of friends without my barbecuing. Six no trump. Nancy is a very attractive girl. Double. Of course Nancy's an attractive girl. We all know that. Hmm. Joyce is an attractive little girl, too. And even Jackie has her, uh, seven no trumps. Say, I only have 12 cards. Dude, you can't do that to us. Well, we bid a grand slam double. A dime! A whole dime! Oh, boy. Hi, Jackie. Hello, Drexel. something, Drexel? Yeah, a dime. Uh, that's too bad. Do you know the date? Who looks at the dates on dimes? I do. I can give you a dime's worth of information. Yeah, well, it better be good. Well, my dad's building a barbecue. It's gonna be twice as big as Mr. Johnson's, and it's gonna have electric spits for cooking turkeys and things. It is? Turkeys? Fine, Willie. Is it level? Oh, yes. Good. Sure. Mm -hmm. Hello, Drexel. Hello. Hey, let me give you a hand, Willie. I just ain't got the neck. Mr. Drexel, you're a brick blowing genius. Well, if it's for a barbecue, I can do anything. I always thought you were best on the consumer end. Oh, no, Mr. Owen White. Just let me have that trowel. I'll show you how good I am. Well, far be it from me to stunt a young man's ambition. Have a go at it, Drexel. And for your efforts, I'll barbecue you a turkey next Sunday. A whole turkey? 
Well, I had a drumstick in mine. One? Oh, excuse me, two. It's a pity turkeys aren't quadrupeds, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, get on with it, my boy, and I'll supervise your labors. <laughs> Willie, don't put too much mortar between the bricks. Uh, mortar? Yes. Mother said it was time for tea, but I thought you'd like some lemonade. You've been working so hard at my barbecue. Well, thank you, dear. Maybe Willie and Drexel would like some, too. Drexel? A most accomplished bricklayer. I've invited him for turkey dinner Sunday. Oh, Father, how could you? I thought that's why you wanted the barbecue. It's the reason I'm building it. It's so unsubtle. Unsubtle? I'm sure there's a better word. I don't care. If Drexel thinks more of Nancy than he does of me, I have no desire to associate with him. If you want my opinion of Drexel, he's one big walking appetite. He doesn't give a hoot for you or Nancy. He doesn't follow the girls. He follows the food. Oh, Father, how can you say that? Why, he's so charming, so romantic. And he's coming to dinner Sunday, whether it's unsubtle or not. You may invite another young couple if you wish. Nancy? Oh, Nancy? Oh. Oh, it's you. I want you to be the first to try our new barbecue. We're cooking a whole turkey Sunday, and you can bring a boy along. Why, Joyce, what's gotten into you? Why, nothing at all, Nancy. I just like my friends to be friendly, that's all. So can you come Sunday and bring a boy to keep Drexel and me company? Drexel and you? I'm terribly sorry, but I have a previous engagement. Oh, that's too bad. I'm afraid I'll have to ask Ann and Jean instead. Oh, Father, you're 100% angel. Yes, I've soloed 100 hours on these wings. And you say that I'm unsubtle. <laughs> Nancy, I just came out to warn you against getting burned. What's the matter, dear? I'm plenty burned, that's what's the matter. Drexel's going over to Joyce's for Sunday dinner and they're barbecuing a turkey. Oh? Well, we'll see about that. If this is going to be war, we'll be the ones to shoot off the fireworks. Oh, Mother, you get the most wonderful ideas. You sure you have enough paper to start it with? Of course there's enough paper. I'm the best fire maker in the brownies. Lazy to build his own fire. Mm. Oh, hi, Anne. Isn't it a beautiful day for a barbecue? Yes, I think so, too. What? Your cousin? Oh, when? Just a minute. Mother! Anne's cousin just came into town, and she wants to know if she can bring him along. There's enough here for a regiment. Oh, thanks, Mother. You're a darling. Hello, Anne. She said, okay, bring him along, and maybe I can get him a date, too. Okay, bye-bye. What did I tell you? Very good, very, very good. Keep it nice and hot. She's getting worse every day. I see you got the fire started. Simple as rubbing two daughters together. <laughs> Nancy! Oh, Nancy! Oh, Nancy! I lost my lighter. Joyce seems to want you. Joyce? What do you want me for? Well, Ann's cousin just got into town and he's coming over later. Want to be his date? Well, who wants to go out to straight cousins? Why, I'd love to. Yes, I'd just love to. Thank you, Joy. Oh, don't mention it. I'll see you later. No daughter of mine is going to be second best to the Irwins. Before I'm through, I'll have Drexel back, and Joyce will be stuck with a cousin. You got a plan? You bet I have. You just leave things to me. And start warming up our barbecue. Oh, I 
Excuse me, Mr. Drexel, I got the base to take it. I don't want to get on your nose. Well, don't mind me, Willie. Hello, Drexel. Oh, hello, Joyce. Sure is pretty, isn't it? My new dress? Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on over here. Isn't it just perfect being together again? I'll say. This is the spot. What are we stopping here for? Well, it's downwind from the turkey. I could sit here forever, just smelling. Say, did you come over to see me or my turkey? Well, nothing makes me romantic like the smell of smoke blowing from a turkey on a barbecue spit. Nothing? Hello, Drexel. Oh, hello, Nancy. Well, what are you doing here? I'm a guest. An invited guest? Sure, we had to ask somebody extra for Ann's cousin, didn't we? Excuse me, please. Oh, with pleasure. Cousin Bob Collins from New York. Joyce Irwin. How do you do? How do you do? Nancy Johnson. Hello. Hello. How do you do? Hello. And this is Drexel Potter. How are you? How do you do? It's so nice of you to take in a stranger for the day. It's so nice of you to be our guest, Mr. Collins. Now I know I'm going to enjoy my summer here. Are you staying here all summer? Mm-hmm. I most certainly am. Joyce, dear, don't forget that Mr. Collins is my date. I am? How nice. Well, he's going to meet my folks first. Excuse me. Aren't you coming, Drexel? Oh, no. I'll just stay here and smell. May I present Mr. Collins, my mother and father? Mrs. Irwin, glad to know you, Mr. Collins. Mr. Irwin, very happy to meet you, sir. And my sister, Jackie. Hi. Hello, Jackie. I hope we can help to make your visit here a happy one. Well, thank you, Mrs. Irwin. It couldn't have gotten off to a better start. Now I want you to meet my family. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Isn't he wonderfully super? I never met a young man with so much poise. It's fellows like him that make me want to grow up. <laughs> what about Drexel? Is he sulking over there? No, just smelling. Oh. <laughs> Would you like some lemonade? I love some. Thanks. Help yourself right over there. I'm going back to bed. Oh, enjoy me. I see you're barbecuing too, Mr. Johnson. Oh, I'll be putting on the New York cuts any minute now. But, Father, I don't think you have to go to all that bother after all. Bother? Why, it's no bother at all. Who knows? We may be having company of our own before the day's over. Well, maybe it won't be necessary to have company. I mean, well, you see, I... Your father handles those steaks like a real chef. Yes. Mm, I'm glad we put in the barbecue. Well, Willie, it's time to baste the bird again. A barbecue reduces cooking to utter simplicity. It's just a matter of impaling a bird on a spit and letting nature do the rest. Nothing to it. Nothing at all. Nothing but buying it, cleaning it, singeing it, plucking out its pin feathers. You bought it! Oh, nonsense. That was a backfire. No, sir, that wasn't no backfire. I'll stand here basing this bird like this. There it goes again. If this is someone's idea for joke.
Is everybody here? Anybody hurt? We're all right, Dad. What happened? Daddy! Daddy, help! Jackie. Jackie, where are you? Here I am, Daddy. Jackie. What in the world are you doing up there? I don't know, Daddy, but I saw how Willie made it, and it sure was something. Willie, you shouldn't be teaching Jackie things like this. Jackie jumped first, Mr. Irvin. I only jump higher. Come on, Jackie. Come on. Come on down. Just turn. There you are. You all right? Come on, Willie. Yeah. Be careful now. Oh, good. Careful. Oh, good. Yeah. Come on. Jump, Willie. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh. Look out now. Put your foot over there. Yeah. Go. There. Whew. I sure am reckless. Look at the turkey. Look what happened to the turkey. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. My lovely party. My beautiful drumsticks. I'll go in the kitchen and come right back with a report on what's left in the larder. But I'm afraid it'll be a Mother Hubbard type of meal. Yes, sir. Yes, come on, Jackie. Steaks. Who put those fireworks in there? I don't know, Mr. Irvin. I didn't do it. Oh. Still interested in steaks, Drexel? Oh, boy, am I. Especially since the turkey got ruined. Well, I'll tell you what you do. You bring uh, Nancy over and we'll have ourselves a feast. Oh, boy. Yeah. Come on, Nancy. Your dad's cooking steaks for us. I will oh. not. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later. Go on, Nancy. I have a big, fat hunch you brought this on yourself. Well, it worked. Now we'll have to do something nice for them. Yeah. Hey, Stu! Everybody! I've got steaks enough for all. Come and get them! Now, look here, Harry. I smell something fishy about this. Well, that's all right, Father. Hmm? This time, Nancy outsmarted herself. She's got Drexel back, and we both wanted to be Bob's date. But uh, I thought you were infatuated with Drexel. Him? Why, he's just one big walking appetite. Drexel doesn't care for Nancy or me. Why, he doesn't follow us, girls. He follows the food. <laughs> we'll be right over, Harry. Make mine rare. <laughs> uh, this time, we're going to play with uh, 52 cards. I'm so happy to see that Joyce got herself a young man at last. <laughs> Yes, I guess we're going to have a peaceful summer after all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, that was swell. I couldn't eat another bite. Could you, Ann? Golly, no, I'm so full. Gee, Nancy, that was swell. I'm glad you liked it. Don't you ever get enough to eat? I don't like to see good food go to waste. Oh, you're disgusting. It's warmer over there by the barbecue. Yes, but much too crowded. Are you cold? A little. Is that better? Much. Jackie, will you quit spying on me? We wasn't spying, Miss Joyce. Was we, Jackie? Be with us again next week when General Mills presents June and Stu Irwin in Trouble with Father.